you haven't watched direct variation, the, please click the link on the corner of the video and watch direct variation first before we get into inverse variation. And if you haven't subscribed, please click click subscribe button down below the video. Now for inverse variation, if a quantity y varies inversely as x, then when y increases, x will decrease. But when y decreases, x will increase. So the opposite is going on. If the same works for when x increases, y will decrease. When x decreases, y will increase. And the product of y and x will give us a constant k. If a quantity y varies inversely as x, this is how it is written. We write y is proportional to 1 over x. For direct variation, if it varies directly, we write y is proportional to x. But for inverse variation, we write y is proportional to 1 over x. So when we convert this into an equation, we have to add the proportionality constant k. So y equals to k over x. Now let's look at an example. Given that y varies inversely as x, so this is what we write first, y inverse varies, uh, inverse, varies inversely as x, and y is 10 when x is 3. Write the inverse variation in form of an equation. So here, first we write the relationship, it's an inverse variation. Then we convert it into an equation, y equals to kx. Now, we have to find the value of k. So when we rearrange this equation, we get k equals to y times x. Substitute the values given, y is 10 and x is 3, and we should get k is 30. Once we get the value of k, we substitute back into the original equation, y equals to k over x. So y equals to 30 over x. Now pause the video and try this yourself. So if I hope you've tried it yourself. So this is the same question as before, just with different values. So y varies inversely as x. Y is 4 when x is 7. Write the inverse variation in the form of equation. So first we write the variation. Y varies inversely as x. So y proportional to 1 over x. And when we make it into an equation, we have to add the proportionality constant or variation constant k. So y equals to k over x. Rearrange to find k. k is y times x. Substitute the values. y is 4 and x is 7. So we get 7 times 4 is 28. Substitute the value of k back into the original equation. We get y equals to 28 over x. Now this is another example. So here, this is also a guided question. Given that y varies inversely as x and y is 5 when x is 2. Now, if they do not give you the first step, you are required to know that you first need to find the equation relating y to x before you can perform any solution. So the first thing to do is find the equation relating y to x, which is the same as before. So y varies inversely as x, y proportional to 1 over x. So when we convert it to equation, we get y equals to k over x. And when we rearrange to find the value of k, it's y times x y is equals to 5 and x is equals to 2 so we get the value of k as 10 once we get the value of k we substitute back into the original equation so y equals to 10 over x now b is find the value of y when x is equals to 5 now without this equation we cannot do this question so now that we have the equation we know how y relates to x so when x is equals to 5, we substitute x equals to 5 into the equation. So we get y is 10 over 5, which is 2. Now see the value of x when x when y is equals to 18. So the same thing, we apply the same thing. We have the relationship of y and x in the form of an equation. So y equals to 10 over x, we substitute the value y equals to 18 into the equation. Then we rearrange so that we make x the subject of the equation. So x will equal to 10 over 18, which is equals to 5 over 9. Now the graphical rep representation of inverse variation. So if you remember direct variation is a straight line. Inverse variation is not a straight line. So this is actually a reciprocal graph. So when y varies inversely as x, y equals to k over x. So if you've already learned your graphs, you should know that 
a over x is the form, the reciprocal form. So this is what we get. So you can see that as y as x increases, when the x value becomes bigger, the y value is becoming smaller. And when y is becoming bigger, x value is becoming smaller. The x value is becoming smaller and smaller. And vice versa. Now, if they give you a quantity y varies inversely such as xn, where n can take either a fraction or whole numbers as long as n is more than 0. So this is how we write it. x is varies inversely as uh, y varies inversely as x to the power of n. So y is proportional to 1 over x to the power of n. Once again, when we convert to equation, we need to add the proportionality constant. So y is equals to k over x to the power of n. So again, as in direct, uh, direct variation, it's the same concept here. y varies inversely as x to the power of n and not x. So when we do the graphical representation, we have to do a graph of y against x. For in this example, it's x squared. So it will be y against x squared and you will get this graph. You cannot do a graph of y against x. You will not get this reciprocal graph. So let's try this question. Pause the video and try the question. So given that y varies inversely as x squared and y is 6 when x is 1. The first thing to do is always to find how y relates to x, to find the equation. So let's find the equation relating y to x squared. It's the same method but instead of x, now we have x squared. So varies inversely to x squared, so we write 1 over x squared. And then we convert to the equation, we get y equals to k over x squared. So rearrange, make k the subject of the equation, equals to y times x squared. So y is 6 and x is 1, we get k is equals to 6. Substitute the value of k, back into the original equation and we get our equation 5 equals to y equals to 6 over x squared. Once we have the equation, we can start solving for other values of x and y. So when the value of y, they ask you to find the value of y when x is 5. So write down the equation first, y equals to 10 over x squared. Substitute the value x equals to 5. So x equals to 5, that means x squared will be 5 squared. So y is equals to 10 over 25. Simplify that, both divide by 5, we get y equals to 2 over 5. We we'll find the value of x when y is 90. So same thing here, start with the equation. We always need the equation first. Substitute the value of y as 90. Rearrange to make x squared the subject of the equation. x squared will be equals to 10 over 90, which is 1 over 9 and x will be equals to square root of 1 over 9, which is 1 over 3.